Hello and welcome to JPR Arts Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we will show you how to create a perfect heart in Adobe Illustrator. First, we need to create a new file, so click on File, and then on New. In the new window, change the name to Heart, and change the height and width to 600 pixels, and click on OK. Now you need to create a guide to help you out with the drawing. So click on the Line Segment tool and hold down the left mouse button. Then you need to click on the little arrow on the right of the menu to detach the menu from the bar and move the menu to a new spot. After that, click on the Rectangular Grid tool and move your cursor to the top left corner of the artboard till you see the word Intersect. Then click with left mouse button, and a new window appears. For default size, choose 600 pixels for width and height, and make sure the orientation point is the left upper corner. Set the horizontal dividers to 9, and the vertical dividers to 7, and click OK. Now, with the grid still selected, click on View and Move to Guides, and click on Make Guides. We need to create the arcs now, so click on the arc tool, and place your cursor on the center of the third guide from top, and fourth guide from left. With the mouse button hold down, move your cursor up, and left, while also holding down the shift button, to the first guide from the top, till you see, guide. Then release mouse. Place your cursor on the left anchor point, from the line you just drew and click and hold left mouse button again. Then move to the left and down. You will notice, the arc is flipped now, so with the mouse button still hold down, press, F, and then hold down shift again, to drag the point to the third guide from top. Release the mouse button, and click on the far left anchor point again, and click and hold left mouse button, and drag your cursor, to the second guide from bottom and forth from left. Before you release the mouse button, press F to flip the path again so it's correct. Then release. Now we need to change the lower path, so click on the direct selection tool and then click on the lower anchor point in the path. After that, click on the lower handle and drag it to the center of the fourth guide from bottom and third guide from left and release. You need to join the separate paths now, so select all your paths, by going to Select, and click All. Then go to, Object, Path, and click, Join. Now choose the Selection tool again, if it's not already active and select the entire path. Then make sure the reference point is set to, Center Right. You need to copy the path now, so with the path still selected, press Ctrl C or Command C for Mac, and then, Control F, or Command F, for Mac. Then click on the Transform Panel button, and then click on the Flyout menu at the top right corner, and click on, Flip Horizontal. Your heart is almost done now. Just select both paths, and join them like you did before. Now you have to change the stroke, and fill, for the heart. Set the stroke to 5. And change the fill to a nice red color. Your heart is now ready, but you can play around with some other settings, like adding a gradient, or removing the outer line.